I'm in a group called Wombat Forest Care and we do monitoring for a large range of flora and fauna, but particularly brush-tailed Fasca gales and particularly in this habitat. So we're in the northern section of the Wombat State Forest, which is ideal uh, Fasca, brush-tailed Fasca gale habitat. We've got the rough bark trees, the box peppermints, we've got litter on the ground and fallen logs. Brushtail fasca gales um, are carnivores. They eat insects, spiders, they have long claws and they like to rip the bark from the trees, these sorts of trees, to extract insects from under the bark. So we've got just the right habitat. So the hollow in this tree is ideal for a brushtail fasca gale. It's got a small entrance, so it won't be competing with um, brush-tailed possums or other fauna for the space. Uh, they can squeeze into a very, very small gap and then within there you'll find um, a larger area for them to sleep in. So this tree is the most fabulous habitat, this lovely ancient old tree. There's cracks in the bark up the top, where you could probably find um, uh, microbats. There's hollows around the back of the tree, possibly for a fasca gale or a possum or even a sugar glider. So these, these ancient beauties need to be protected forever. For many of us, we look at this and all we want to do is clean it up. A tidy bug says, it's litter, but it's the most important habitat for insects, for fungi. Without those insects, we won't have bird life or we won't have fasca gales. Th this fabulous moth, beautifully disguised as a piece of bark, is the sort of food the brush tail fasca gale is searching for. It can be found right through this forest. These moths are completely full of protein. The body is about that length and it is jam-packed with protein. The best meal a Fasca girl could find. So some time ago, we set up um, a motion sensing camera in this location, pointed at an attracting bait tied to a log. We are only allowed to use a bait when we have a permit from an animal ethics permit and this is because animals would be attracted to the bait for each night and a predator may um, learn of this habit. We chose this location to put our camera as the habitat's ideal for brush-tailed fasca gales. The area is open, it's an open woodland style forest and it's got um, the rough bark trees, it's got hollows up the hill in a big old tree, there's fallen litter and um, fallen branches, which is perfect um, habitat for insects and spiders, which is the main food source for the brush-tailed fasca girl. And we got some great brush-tailed fasca girl images uh, that proves they're using this location and proves that this is the perfect habitat for brush-tailed fasca girls.